These hives were started as two pound packages on April 6th and at the beginning of May I added a second D brood box for them. It's now about three weeks later and I'm going to be splitting these hives today. I've separated the brood boxes to make them easier to inspect. You can see on that one the remains of the pollen patties. The bees have just about ate them down to nothing. There's a few scraps on the sides. But you can see the bees wanted them. The first thing we want to do is find the queen. And I've located her. She's right here on this frame climbing around. So we're going to set this frame off to the side and then go through and pick out good brood frames for making the splits. This hive has nine good frames of brood and so I'm going to be taking some off. The way I'm going to do it, I'm going to move a bunch of frames to another yard and then split them into individual hives there to make it easier than splitting and taking several hives with me. I can just throw all the frames in a few boxes. But I do want to show you this frame. I use inch and a quarter frames, which you can see are a little bit narrower, and I can squeeze 11 frames in a box. But as you'll notice, the comb is real uniform. It's not all wavy and different sizes. A lot of times it'll be real deep at the top if you use wider frames. This is also a foundationless frame. The bees have drawn their own comb on. And as you can see, this entire frame is worker brood. The, bee, the queen's got it laid almost to the corners. There's just a little bit of capped honey in the very corners, but this is a real nice frame. Some of the bees have started to hatch out. They've got a little pollen stored there. Now I've removed the feeder from the hive. I'm taking it down to just a single brood box. Uh, I'll put combs in place of the feeder because yeah, you know, the feeder's good in early spring, but as soon as the queen gets laying, she needs all the space she can, and that gives her more comb space if we pull the feeder and give them combs. I'm going to put an excluder back on and close this hive back up. I've just removed the feeder from this hive, but I want you to see how there's virtually no burr comb in between the frames when you run inch and a quarter frames. Because uh, a lot of times in between the frames, the bees will just, you know, fill in a ton of the Burr comb make it difficult to get apart. When you run narrow frames, the bees don't fill in all the gaps with wax, and it's a lot easier to work your hive. This is what 11 frames in a brood box looks like. As you can see, there's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 frames in there. These are cut down to an inch and a quarter, and they will fit. It's a tight fit, but they actually fit, and it gives the queen a lot more room to lay. Uh, as you can see, I've put three more pollen patties on. This is the last hive I'm doing. We've been able to get about 25 frames of brood out of them. I'm going to be transporting them in two 10-frame boxes and a 5-frame nucleus. The, I put a screen bottom under the two boxes to help with ventilation so they don't overheat. I'm just going to duct tape the entrances, throw a cargo strap around it, and we'll transport them that way. We've got the hives closed back up. We're just going to be running a single brood nest with an excluder over it and supers on it. Now when I pulled frames, I tried to leave three to four frames of brood and all the field bees are still going to be here. I left the parent queen here. The splits when we take to a new yard, I'll be introducing a new queen to them then. Oh, I've gotten splits transferred into four hives now. I've Put about four frames of brood in each one, and I'm going to be giving them a mated queen. The way I do that is I take my queen cage, I just pop the cork out of the candy end, I just put the queen on the bottom board, slide her in with my hive tool. That way, you don't have to worry about a coon or anything grabbing her out, and the bees will release her from the bottom. I'll add pollen patties, a queen excluder, and super them up, and we'll be ready for the flow. These four hives are all set up and ready to go. I'll be checking them in about a week, and just make sure the queen's been released and laying good, but, and then I'll finish supering them up at that time.
Now what started out as four packages a month and a half ago is now ten separate hives for honey production.